I commend your magnificent food, Lady Marion. You do me honor, Your Highness. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, I give you a toast to the Lady Marion. To the Lady, Lady Marion. Marion. Gentlemen, I've heard it rumored abroad that I have designs upon my brother Richard's throne. Such doubts cast upon my loyalty are lies, wicked lies. I give you the health of a gentleman who can shoot a straight arrow, who is fearless in the saddle, and who will one day make England the king she has so long richly deserved. His Royal Highness Prince Arthur of Brittany. Prince Arthur. Prince Arthur of Brittany. The Sheriff of Nottingham. Approach, Master Sheriff. Your Highness, Lady Marion. And now, my lady, if you'll excuse us, we would have words in private with Master Sheriff. I carry a heavy burden for you, dear Prince. The burden of state. You have enemies who must be watched, or you will never wear the golden crown of England. Give me some music. Come, Sheriff. No dancer. Jeff, your highness. I do not live at court. But you live in London. In the tower. In the tower. The prince is a noble young man. A remarkably healthy boy. A fine, strong man. Yes. I believe, my Lord Sheriff, that the outlaw Robin Hood is still at large. I assure you, my liege, that everything possible is being done. I'm sure you'll rid us of him very soon. The fact remains that at the moment he's a menace to travelers, even to those of royal blood. Your Highness is as safe in this shire as anywhere else in England. Mm. And, um, uh, Prince Arthur? Prince Arthur? <laughs> yes. I'm delighted to see the boy smiling again. And yet danger is always present for those in high places, eh, Sheriff? What sort of danger, my lord? If a band of men disguised as Robin Hood's outlaws were to waylay and rob the prince, there might be a regrettable accident. And a new heir to the throne. And all England would think Robin Hood guilty. But Robin Hood would interfere with such a plan. Not if a message were to leak out that the tax collector, his coffers bursting with gold, was passing down Watling Road at dawn tomorrow. That would draw Robin Hood and his men many miles from Sherwood Forest. Then come, my friend, why do we linger here? Let us to journey to Nottingham tonight. Leave the young prince to follow in the morning and uh, hope that no harm will befall him in the forest. Lady Marion, I thank you for your kind hospitality. Your Highness must leave already. Yes, we ride for Nottingham tonight. But the boy may stay. You've been overtaxing your strength of late. Have a good night's sleep and travel in the morning. I shall leave you an escort. Captain, you will remain until morning and accompany His Royal Highness. See that no harm comes to him on peril of your life. May angels watch over you until we meet again, sweet prince. Lady Marion.